Greenlight Hitch and Toe Series 9, available in your stores as of this month, March 2017. First vehicle we're looking at, the 1972 Ford F100 and horse trailer. And we've got a 1955 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 60 with Shasta Air Flight. And also the 2016 Ram 2500 and heavy duty car trailer. 2015 Ford F-150 and enclosed car trailer. And now from the Greenlight Hitch and Tow Racing Series, these are limited to only 3,024 vehicles each. The first one features the 1966 Ford Bronco, a 2015 Ford F-150 and the flatbed trailer. Next we've got a 2016 Chevrolet Camaro SS with the shell logos, a 2015 Chevrolet Silverado and matching enclosed car hauler. Finally, we've got the Mopar series with a 2016 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat and a 2014 Ram 1500 Sport, again with a matching enclosed car hauler. Let's get all of these vehicles out of their packages and out for a good little drive on the Diorama Junkyard. This 1972 Ford F-150 is Greenlight's newest addition to the Hitch and Toe series. A very new casting, we've only seen it once before. Just separate from the trailer here for a closer look at it. Awesome details all the way around of course. Note that it has the larger trailer pulling mirrors on each side of the vehicle. And of course a hitch. Very authentic hubcaps. And looking at the box, which is a separate piece from the cab, I see that they're going to be planning on putting a camper or a cab on the back of it. You can see there's the four pinholes where that would connect. So that's something to look forward to in the future. I'm sure the near future. With a nice little engine tucked away underneath. The Ford lettering right across the front of the hood, just as you would see in real life. And now just a quick comparison against the Black Bandit version that came out not too long ago pre previously. A different grill here, I believe this was the 1970 version, I'm not exactly sure, could have just looked on the base. But a lot more detail just because of the uh, color, the two-tone color on this one versus the all-black one, I think. And uh, definitely a very nice casting, so this is the first time we've seen this particular year of this model truck from Greenlight. Pulling, of course, the extremely detailed horse trailer with opening doors and room for your horses. This trailer is all plastic except for the base which is metal but still a very sturdy quality design. These two Fords really fit nicely into my junkyard diorama parked under a nice shady green tree and with a bunch of wrecks in the backdrop. I'm gonna need to get more of these vehicles as green light produces them. Here's a heavy car and trailer combination from Greenlight. Both pieces are solid metal. And the last time we saw this Cadillac, it was the Trailer Queen being trailered about in one of the Elvis Hitch and Tow exclusives. This time, it's pulling heavy duty trailer loads with the old Shasta Air Flight behind it. And when I say heavy duty, let's see if we can get that off without breaking my hitch. Uh-oh. Come on. There we go. Sometimes they're a tight fit. This Shasta trailer is awesome. It's actually got transparent windows, so it'd be neat to find out what's inside this thing. But it is all metal. And as is the Cadillac, of course, featuring tremendous details all the way around. One of my favorite castings that came out in 2016, I believe. It's a fairly new one anyway. It's got the opening hood with the Big blue engine under there, but definitely one of my favorite castings and super cool to see it pulling a trailer in Hitch and Toe 9.
Speaking of heavy die cast, here's another all metal combination. And if you're going to be trailering anything around, this is the truck and trailer combination to do it with. Check out all the details on this truck and trailer. Just take a look from afar here first. It's got ramps that fold down, separate pieces that clip right onto a metal rail on the back, so they're not they're not cheap little things. And then take your truck or your car, whatever you're loading up, and you can roll it right up onto the ramps, no problem. Lots of room to store a big Cadillac or whatever you choose to pull. First we'll look at the truck. I've seen this Ram quite a few times over the years. It's still awesome. But now we've got the newer model here with the tonneau cover and the toolboxes in the side of the box. The tonneau cover actually comes off, revealing a very detailed flat black box liner. Still one of my favorite castings. I pretty much buy every single ram that they make. And here's the trailer. Look at all the details on this thing. We've seen it a couple times before now, but each time I'm still in awe when I see how cool this trailer is. Right down to those little jack stands on the back. Be careful of those, they're just plastic and they can get peeled off pretty quickly if you're rough. But these are still quite nice heavy pieces and built very well. Finally we've got the Terlingua Racing Team. Not sure if I'm saying that right and I am not familiar with this racing team so apologies on that but it is a very nice duo truck and trailer combination with amazing graphics super detailed trailer this is one of my favorite trailers from Greenlight the good old original car hauler cargo trailer it is a plastic body with a metal chassis but it has some great details including a very realistic wood look floor inside the trailer and of course it uh, closes up nicely but first we got to put a payload on this beautiful Ford F-150. Check out the hood graphics on it. Very cool. Couldn't look better in this racing yellow and black striping with the white 67. Let's hook these together and take on a payload, only fitting that it would be a Ford. Let's get that little old Ford F-100 in the back. Now you won't want to put the model in with the extended trailer mirrors, but this one fits just perfectly. Now let's get the ramp buttoned up. And versus using the fishing line, we're just going to go for an old hand roll around the diorama. Unfortunately, I didn't get far. I got extremely high centered on this bump. So we're going to have to put it in four low and try and back out of this mess. Uh oh, now the trailer hitch is dug in. This is not a situation you want to be in if you're out in real life trying to pull a trailer off-road. The truck is stuck. Rocket! Rocket! I'm trying! I got wheel spin! I can't move! Oh boy, this is just a mess. Okay, well, you have to park it. Get back in the little F-100 and uh, find another way home, I guess. And that's why you should always bring fishing line with you everywhere you go. Because it works better than trying to catch fish with your hands. Now we will check out these vehicles, but I'm going to save it for another video because it took me 10 minutes just to review 8 vehicles coming out of the Hitch and Tow Series 9. And I want to give all nine of these vehicles my full attention. So stay tuned. It will be coming out very shortly. And we'll take a look at these awesome truck, car, trailer combinations out of the packaging. Limited to 3,024 pieces. These are pretty exclusive for Greenlight nowadays. Greenlight's getting pretty big. But these, uh, these exclusive pieces are going to be tough to find, I think. So stay tuned for that. And hopefully I get my hands on the elusive fourth set at some point. More on that when we go into the video for it. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.